Hello readers and listeners. Today we're reading Time for Bed Miyuki, written by Roxane Marie Gallis, illustrated by Zhang Zhang Ratanivin. Time for Bed Miyuki. With a rain of gold on silver hills, the sun offers its last light before leaving for the night. The nightingale prepares her nest. Ants gather their provisions, and the toad jumps into a bucket. As the sun slowly hides to watch the moon rise, the bell tower sounds the hour of rest. But where is Miyuki? Miyuki is busy playing and trying to push back time. Grandfather is trying to get her to go to bed. Miyuki, it's time for bed. Not yet, Grandfather. Look, the sun hasn't set yet, and I have still and I still have so much to do. What do you have to do that cannot wait until tomorrow, Miyuki? Why, I must prepare for the arrival of the Dragonfly Queen, Miyuki said. She chose our garden to visit tomorrow, and she will bring her entire court. Her entire court? Grandfather asked. Yes, it's a very big deal. Can you please help me make a canopy to honor her there under the cherry tree? Miyuki asked politely. All right, my Miyuki, and then it's time for bed. So Grandfather helped Miyuki make a canopy fit for a queen with fallen fallen leaves, three twigs, and a poppy. Miyuki, it's time for bed. But Grandfather, I must water my vegetables. All right, Miyuki, Grandfather sighed. Water your vegetables, and then it's time for bed. Miyuki watered her carrots, turnips, radishes, and everything she could reach. How many times did Miyuki go from the well to the garden? Even Grandfather stopped counting. Miyuki, the canopy for the queen is complete. And your vegetable garden is watered. It's time for bread. G- bed. Grandfather, I cannot sleep now, Miyuki cried. I must gather the whole snail family together. If they are not gathered together, I will not be able to sleep. So Grandfather helped Miyuki look for the snails and lead them all home. Miyuki, the canopy for the queen is complete. Your vegetable garden is watered. This and the snails are gathered. It's time for bed. But grandfather, I can't stop now. It's a cold night and I won't be able to fall asleep if I haven't covered up the cat. Patiently, Grandfather waited as Miyuki covered the, their cat with a warm blanket. Miyuki, the canopy for the queen is complete. Your vegetable garden is watered. The snails are gathered. The cat is covered. It's time for bed. Oh, Grandfather, we must Dance the last dance of the day to thank the sun for shining so nicely. So Grandfather and Miyuki danced, and then Miyuki yawned. Miyuki, the canopy for the queen is complete. Your vegetable garden is watered. The snails are gathered. The cat is covered, and we dance the last dance of the day. It's time for bed. Grandfather said wearily. Miyuki's eyes were growing heavy, but there was still work to be done. Grandfather, I cannot go to bed until I've bathed and brushed my hair. And what will the stars say if I'm not in my best pajamas when they visit me? So Grandfather prepared Miyuki's 
brushed her hair, and laid out her best pajamas for her to wear. Then Miyuki yawned again, and Grandfather yawned too. Miyuki, the canopy for the queen is complete. Your vegetable garden is watered. The snails are gathered. The cat is covered. We dance the last dance of the day. You are bathed and brushed and dressed. It's time for bed. This time, Miyuki didn't argue. She took Grandfather's hand and followed him. Grandfather took Miyuki into bed and kissed her on the forehead. Grandfather, she whispered, we forgot to do something very important. I know, Miyuki, I have not forgotten. I will tell you a story. Grandfather opened a book and began to read. With a rain of gold on silver hills, the sun offers its last light before leaving for the night. The nightingale prepares her nest. Ants gather their provisions, and the toad jumps into a bucket. As the sun slowly hides to watch the moon rise, the bell tower sounds the hour of rest. But where is Miyuki? I think Miyuki has fallen asleep. The end.